This is where I'm from. I come from a tropical country, Indonesia, that does not have any snow. Some people may see me as a person who does not have any difficulties. I was happy in the process of studying in the United States. The dream of my friends, feeling the cold of the snow. interacting with people who speak different languages than myself. Well, that's only bonus of getting out of my comfort zone. After being rejected by several scholarships, now I'm studying under one scholarship that I really wanted. It has been a difficult journey, and now I'm enjoying the result. If I have to answer, Do you feel satisfied with what you have achieved so far? Definitely I would say no. It sounds selfish though, but my hopes are for greater things. For whom? Myself, my country, and the next generation. In fact, I feel so far away from my home country. My family, my culture. and my life as I've always known it to be. So here I am. I must be connected to my past, but also find my own path to move forward. What I think I need to do is experience the diversity. I met several inspiring people who share their wisdom. President of Ohio State University, Dr. Michael Drake say that as young people, we contribute to what we learn by understanding the context to create improvement. In another occasion, I've also met Erin Crowell, an inspiring teacher. She gives the warmest greeting to everybody who attends her presentation. Some of the things I can do to not feel homesick are sharing my culture and history with my new work. Being a volunteer, I had a wonderful experience by being involved in such activities. I participated in a dance fundraiser. I was there to help Bangladesh children acquire a better education. These activities help everyone to appreciate the differences of other cultures. Again, one way to cope with the homesickness is by having Skype conversation with my other friends who are also in the United States, since I live in a cutting-edge country. We share experience together and motivate each other. One thing that I remember Skype was slowing down so much because there were too many people joining the conversation. Well, it's totally okay to be far from your home country for a little while. Don't be afraid to experience the new situation. Do not feel satisfied with what you are doing now. But why do this? The answers are to explore and discover, to live. experience and learn more about what you can do and what you want to do with your life. It makes you know who you are. If you feel stuck, remember one thing, just focus on your goal. So what is your next step to get out of your comfort zone?